guys, today I am in the car with some other lovely humans. Hi, we're the Story Girls. I'm Kelsey. My name is Becky. And they are my former bosses. Fun <laughs> fact. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys didn't know that I haven't been full-time YouTubing for very long at all. It's basically been four months. And before that, my job was working for Kelsey and Becky. I would edit their videos and they were lovely, lovely bosses to me. <laughs> it's like kind of cool. Because when I started working for you, I had, you know, like 20k subscribers or something. And for like my application to them, I sent this really shitty DIY video that I made. No, it was like, good. You got the job. I know, you got the job. And then you got like too big on YouTube, so you quit. That's cool though, not mad. Yeah, and they were like, before I'll let you quit, you have to film a collab video with us. <laughs> so here I am. Kelsey and Becky are very talented at building like advanced furniture, oh, no. advanced <laughs> apartment things. Mm -hmm. Now you guys know I moved into a new place like two months ago, yet it is still a pile of clothing. Mm -hmm. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey's like, yeah, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> no matter how hard I try to Marie Kondo my place, it's just clothes everywhere, I say. As but I, that's like, also your job. Clothes, clothes are yeah. your job, so sure. not mad. That's my excuse as well. So today we are going to build a double-decker clothing rack mm -hmm. to hold all of that goodness and hopefully get me like a little kickstart on my apartment makeover. Yeah! I need a little push. I've been very nervous to start filming it because I feel like it has to be like perfect. But So right now we are right outside the Home Depot. We're going to go grab some supplies and then get to DIYing. All right, love, let's go. <laughs> oh, well, I get out, so I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're actually going now. They're already getting distracted by the plants. <laughs> this is what happens when you bring the sorry girls to Home Depot. <laughs> We got some naughty pine. <laughs> We've also got some penetrating wood stain. <laughs> These words today. I know. Did you see the nipples in the other section too? Later yeah. we're gonna get screwing. <laughs> so here's all the supplies we picked up four three foot black steel pipes and two 41 inch black steel pipes. I don't know. We got these cut to size and threaded at Home Depot. A two foot by four foot piece of knotty pine, four T converters, four flanges, six 90 degree elbow connectors, eight close nipples, four wheels. I got lockable ones so my rack wouldn't roll all over the place, but you could also get regular ones that are a bit cheaper. 32 three quarter inch flat head Phillips wood screws, dark wood stain and poly, a wood stain applicator, or you can just use an old rag if you have one, and latex gloves, because you should always use protection, kids. First step, we are going to stain this wood a dark color to match kind of like this detailing in my apartment. So they told me to like get some soup cans to rest my wood piece on before we stain it so it's easier to access the sides of the wood. We're working with what we have. Like maybe, you know, if you have something that you're not gonna eat with later, but it's fine. Okay, we're popping open our stain. This is actually from my past career as Snoop Dogg's professional joint roller. Like how, how do I stroke the wood? I actually... Hello from the exact same location. <laughs> we just moved the wood over here to dry and now we're gonna put together this rack. Here's a quick reminder of what our pipes should look like when we're done assembling them. There are two horizontal bars to hold the clothing and then four vertical bars that attach to those and keep the whole thing upright. So we got steel pipes, which unlike the copper pipes that I built my other clothing rack out of, those are copper pipes so you have to glue them together. These ones come threaded, which means that they are like basically all little screws. So we actually don't need any glue, which is really convenient and will hopefully make it really sturdy. Yeah. So the hardest part was honestly just buying this material and now we just have to screw it together. <laughs> it's so easy. Oh, 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 the words of a fool. Easy, twas, twas it not. Are we missing a nipple? Since there's two bars, like how are they gonna go together? Like if we rotate it like 180 degrees and like flip it vertically and horizontally, like are they gonna screw together in the right pattern? After about an hour of assembling wobbly prototype racks, rewatching old Sorry Girls tutorials, and wishing we had paid more attention in AP Physics, Fulcrum, isn't that a thing? This is the best solution we could come up with. So first steps would be to add your end pieces onto the middle bar and the top bar. And the reason this is important is because these are the bars that are holding all of Ash's clothes. We want them to be the strongest because they're gonna be holding the most weight. <laughs> We're so close. In order to get these weight bearing joints extra secure, we used longer rods to gain leverage and rotate the joints till they were nice and tight. 
Then we screwed in the vertical bars all the way to the T connectors. Okay, so now we get to the final joint, which is the troubled child of our family. <laughs> as my mother always called me. Now, ideally, you would want to screw in these final two pipes clockwise so that they both tighten the bottom and top joints at the same time. However, the threads on these top joints run counterclockwise, so it's impossible to screw them in that way. Instead, we had to compromise by rotating our pipes counterclockwise, which connects the top joint, but loosens the bottom joint. We only rotated the pipes a couple times so that each end of the pipe was halfway threaded, like 50% screwed in on the top and 50% screwed in on the bottom. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I promise if you build the clothing rack, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You could also at this point weld or glue these half-ass joints together for some extra security. Oh, Better? She is sturdy. Okay, wow. Problem solving. And then we attached the final vertical pipes, which luckily screwed in easily without having to solve an SAT level geometry problem. I'm in coach. You wanna have a foot race off? <laughs> a foot race? A foot race. Three, Ready? two, one, go. <laughs> oh shit. Literally disown me. Literally, here's the username and password to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's been hard to rotate this tiny little piece the correct way because there's like not much leverage here. So we're gonna attach it to the frame and then just like use the leverage of the feet to like. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, this is our workout. Okay, who needs CrossFit when you have building a clothing rack? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No. I mean. And then we're gonna repeat that process, or more accurately, Kelsey's gonna repeat that process on the other side. You really don't see down my top this entire time. While Kelsey, our resident strong woman, <laughs> finishes up the other foot, I'm gonna give our plank of wood another coat since it looks like the stain's all settled in and it's a little bit pale still. So, gotta get her ready for summer. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen sexier wood, Ashley? No, what is that? <laughs> it's like a joke. It's a joke. Have you seen sexier wood? Oh, Ashley misses the joke completely. <laughs> Episode number 358. All right, our wood is dry. It's looking nice and handsome. First, we're gonna screw on this giant rack to the base, and then underneath that, we're gonna put some wheels and give you life. Can we just quit YouTube and start a furniture making company? So we're gonna do pilot holes with a really small drill bit, just so that when we put in our fatty here, it doesn't split the wood, because if you try to do it just straight into there, the wood has like nowhere to go and then it just like cracks the wood. But this way you can kind of make a hole for it to go into, you know you're going in straight and this kind of like removes some of the wood too. So it's not like building up pressure. The first time, drilling. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my I, God. I bought this drill because David broke my bed. So I needed to like drill the hole again so I could put the dowels back together, but I haven't used it yet. Hence why my bed is still on the floor. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So proud of you. We were running into a little bit of difficulty with the screw holes that are right behind this pole. So we're just gonna do three screws on some of these holes and then four screws where we can. If you are building this, maybe take into consideration that you wanna try to push these flanges so that the holes aren't blocked by your pipe things. Pipe put piece, yeah. And finally, we screwed on the wheels so the rack could roll. Ra rock and roll? More like rack and roll. Oh, oh gosh. Um, we made sure that we offset the wheels from where the metal frame was screwed in on the top side so our screws didn't like headbutt into each other from opposite sides of the wood. It's the final screw. Who do 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 Oh my god, I remember editing so many of those. Let's flip this baby over. Oh. It rolls so nice. Wow. 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 I am actually so proud of this clothing rack. It is by far the largest piece of furniture I've ever built, but I honestly encourage you guys, if you're new to woodworking or furniture building like me, don't be afraid to give this a shot. It only took a couple hours to assemble and it honestly feels really cool to have actually built something from scratch that wasn't just like a, a klufluful kufufig from Ikea, you know? My apartment still is a giant pile of clothes, but uh, we, we put a little dent in it today. I'll, I'll tackle that issue another day. Thank you so much to Kelsey and Becky for helping me out with this video. If you want to see more of them, they happen to have a YouTube channel. Whoa, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Over on our channel, we did a thrift store challenge where we tried to thrift wedding outfits, but we started with some pretty questionable thrift store items. So um, head on over to our channel to check that video out. Freedom, now I finally don't have to work for them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're released. <laughs> Thank you guys.
guys so much. Also, thank you for being like really good bosses. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye.